our class of 2023 cheerleaders. Our first cheerleader is Marley Steffen. Marley's parents are Jared and Molly Steffen. She's been at BCS for 12 years. She's participated in cheerleading for one year. After high school, she plans to attend Purdue University and major in nursing. Her favorite verse is Psalm 118.5. Out of my distress, I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. Let's hear it for Marley Steffen. Our next cheerleader is Hannah Schaefer. Hannah's parents are Mike and Kelly Schaefer. She's been at BCS for four years and has participated in cheerleading for one year. She's also participated in baton for 10 years. She plans to attend St. Francis studying radiological technology. Her favorite verse is Psalm 23, four. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Let's have a round of applause for Hannah Schaefer. Our next senior is Shayna Grorud. Shayna's parents are Mark and Sarah Grorud. She's been at BCS for 11 years, has participated in cheerleading for four years. She also has played soccer for 14 years. After high school, she plans to attend Ball State University and pursue a teaching major in chemistry and a minor in physics. Her favorite verse is Isaiah 43, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flames shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Let's have a round of applause for Shana Grorod. Our next senior is Adeline Jones. Adeline's parents are Randy and Jennifer Jones. She's been at BCS for six years and has participated in cheerleading for five years. After high school, she plans to attend Indiana Wesleyan University, majoring in medical imaging. Her favorite verse is John 3.30. He must increase, but I must decrease. Let's have a round of applause for Adeline Jones. And our next senior is Taylor Muncy. Taylor's parents are Jeff and Andrea Muncy. She's been at BCS for five years and has participated in cheerleading for one year. She also played volleyball her freshman and sophomore year. She plans to go to Ball State, majoring in nursing. Her favorite verse comes from Matthew 17, verse 20. For truly I tell you, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to the mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Let's have a round of applause for Taylor Muncy. And these are your class of 2023 cheerleading seniors. And now let's introduce our boys basketball class of 2023 senior class. Our first senior, number 20, Troy Kelly. <laughs> Troy's parents are Michael and Rebecca Kelly. He's been at BCS for 12 years. He's played basketball for 14 years and also played soccer for 13 years. He plans to play soccer in college and will be studying secondary education but is undecided on where at this time. Romans 5.8 is his favorite verse, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Let's have a round of applause for number 20, Troy Kelly. Our next senior is number 3, Victor Hoya. Victor is escorted by his mother, Esther Hoya. He has been at BCS for seven years and has participated in basketball for eight years. He also played football for one year and track for three years. After high school, he plans to play football and track 
undecided on where at this time, and major in marketing. His favorite verse is Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Number three, Victor Hoya. Number 33, Mason Thompson. Mason's parents are Tony and Florida Thompson. He's been at BCS for six years, has participated in basketball for seven years, also participated in soccer for 12 years, and track and field for two years. After high school, he plans to attend Grand Canyon University, majoring in engineering. His favorite verse is Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Let's have a round of applause for number 33, Mason Thompson. Our next senior is number 10, John Jones. John's parents are Michelle and Christopher Jones. He's been at BCS for two years and has played basketball for seven years. After high school, he plans to attend either Ball State or Grace College for accounting. His favorite verse is Hebrews 11.6. It's, it's impossible to please God without faith because the one who draws near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards people who try to find him. Let's have a round of applause for number 10, John Jones. Our next senior is number 30, Gage Sefton. Gage is the son of Jay and Erica Sefton. He's been at BCS for 14 years and has played basketball for 14 years. He also played four years of tennis and four years of baseball in high school. He plans to attend Grace College and play basketball and major in business administration. Psalm 62.2 is his favorite verse. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. Number 30, Gage Sefton. Our next senior is number 13, Joshua First. Josh is the son of Gary and Lotus First. He's been at BCS for 13 years and has participated in basketball for 10 years. After high school, he plans to play basketball at Purdue as a walk-on and major in biomedical health sciences. His favorite verse is John 3.30, he must increase, but I must decrease. Number 13, Josh First. And our final senior is number 23, Jimmy Davidson. Jimmy is the son of Mark and Lisa Davidson. He's been at BCS for nine years, played basketball for his whole life. His plans after high school are undecided at this time, but he wants to major in sports management and eventually coach someday. Micah 718 is his favorite verse. Who is a God like you? pardoning iniquity and passing over transgression for the remnant of his inheritance. He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in steadfast love. Let's have a round of applause for number 23, Jimmy Davidson. And these are your class of 2023 boys basketball seniors.
Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science, to the arts all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here um, you know and they're getting better um, you know I'm watching you know uh, Summit City Sports man they're doing an awesome job and I mean that's a plug them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job and I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting and I'm seeing the talent and it is just truly outstanding and I mean you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne Indiana the talent that's coming up now and the talent that you know is it's is, is, is just here man it's just is really it's really cool I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. And I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rats basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses the long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. 
Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Yo, what's going on? It's Antoine Taylor with Matrix QB. I'm so excited to announce our new book, The Quarterback Toolshed, strictly designed to help you slow the game down so that you can speed up. Whether you're a parent, a coach, or a player, it's jam-packed with information. We're going to help you slow the game down by giving you a mental processor so that you can speed up. This resource has all the things you need from reading the defense, passing mechanics, pre-snap filters, coverage ID, and much, much more. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to see you on the inside. How can we help you see today? At a j Optical, we offer frames for the entire family, Nike, MCM, Timberland, Victoria's Secret, Tom Ford, Clear Eye View, Ray Ban, Guess, and our own AJ Optical line. We accept most insurance Davis Vision, iMed, Anthem, United Health, Medicare, and Medicaid. We are located at 3629 North Clinton Street, right next door to Wooden Nickel. AJ Optical. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for clicking on here to SummitCitySports.com. We're coming to you live right here from Blackhawk Christian High School as we're getting set for an out-of-conference matchup, the last regular season game here for both of these squads between the 4-17 and Northrop Bruins and the 19-3 and Blackhawk Christian Braves. We thank you so much for joining us. This is SummitCitySports.com. Hunter Soslammer here calling your play-by-play. -play. Matt Jackson on the camera. We're excited to bring you this one as we take a deeper look here into these squads. As I mentioned, Northrop comes into this one at 4-17 and on the year. Under eighth year head coach Rod Chamel. He is 77 and 107 in his eight years at the school. Taking a look at their four wins, they did kick off the regular season with a 45-42 win against DeKalb. Did defeat Southside 57 to 40, and then Snyder 61 to 57, and then wrapping their wins off against Canterbury 59 to 57. They are led by the senior number 25, Dalman Alexander, averages 17 points per game as well as eight and a half points per game. A tremendous senior product. Spoke with him before this game here this evening, and he said. His continuing to get interest from Division I schools and Division II NAIA looks. So we'll see how this all plays out for Dalman Alexander and his future here with the Northrop Bruins. They are also led by the senior as well. Number three and Jaden Schmink comes into this one averaging 11 points per game. A tremendous multi-sport athlete here for Northrop. The Blackhawk Christian Braves, they come into this one at 19-3 on the year. They're under first-year head coach Anna Matt Roth. There are three losses coming against North Davies, 62-57 in overtime. Bishop Dwinger, 64-61. And then the Summit Athletic Conference champion, the Wayne Generals, 75-73. The Bishop Dwinger and Wayne Generals loss were both back-to-back -back losses for Blackhawk Christian as they continue to look to strive on the winning sides of things as we're wrapping the regular season up here for them tonight. They are led by the senior, number 13, Josh Burst, averaging 19 points per game, 
and a nine boards per game here for Blackhawk Christian. He is announced during the senior night festivities here this evening that he is planning to attend Purdue University as a walk-on to play with his older brother, Caleb First. So we'll see how Josh First continues his career out, but still they have business to take care of as they are one of the favorites in that class to a bracket. So we'll see how Blackhawk Christian rolls things out here. They are also led by the senior number 30, Gage Sefton, committed to go to Gary's College, averaging 17 points per game and six boards per game here for Blackhawk Christian. And then the sophomore rising star number four, Kellen Pickett, comes into this one, averaging 14 points per game here for Blackhawk Christian. Well, we're getting set and ready to roll. Both teams have hit the floor for their last three minutes of warm-ups. Let's take a look at the schedule ahead here taken away this evening. Canterbury is at Wayne. Northside is at Washington. And then Southside is at New Haven here on this Thursday evening. Friday evening, Carroll will play at Warsaw. Columbia City will be at Concordia. I'll be on the call tomorrow night at the Cage for that one. Homestead will take on Norwell in what should be a tremendous contest. And then Marion will take on Snyder and that'll wrap up the Summit Athletic Conference play in the regular season. We'll make sure you join us live next week for IHSAA sectional broadcast as me and Matt will make the trip to South Adams about an hour drive as we'll be on the call for all of the South Adams sectional. Blackhawk Christian folks, you're looking to play on Wednesday evening as they'll play the host, the South Adams Starfires at 7.30 p.m. Northrop's, they got the bye in the Carroll sectional, so they'll take on the winner of East Noble and DeKalb in the semifinals out at Carroll High School. That game's set to begin at 6 p.m. Well, we're about a minute and 50 away here from action, so we're going to go ahead and step away and take one more break. You're watching Indiana High School Basketball here on SummitCitySports.com. sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com about it. We're back here live, SummitCitySports.com here from Blackhawk Christian High School, Mark Davidson Court, getting set for basketball action about 30 seconds away from the National Anthem and tip. We'll stay live here for the National Anthem as we'll get it played by the Blackhawk Christian Braves band here at Blackhawk Christian High School. Got to give a shout out to them doing tremendous things, getting the environment rocking here at Mark Davidson Court on the campus of Blackhawk Christian High School. Should be a tremendous ball game here between these two squads as they look to wrap their regular season up and then get ready to go in to postseason mode. Blackhawk Christian, one of the high favorites in the Class 2A state tourney. So we'll see how things all play out as we're going to get set and turn it on over here to our PA announcer for the National Anthem and starting lineups here live from Blackhawk Christian High School on SuffolkCitySports.com. And your Blackhawk Christian Braves, guided by head coach Mr. Matt Raw. Blackhawk Christian is pleased to sponsor this athletic contest. As a Christian school, we value the need for good sportsmanship. And remind everyone that high school athletics is an educational event. In keeping with the spirit and intent of interscholastic athletics, we ask all players, coaches, and spectators to cheer in a positive manner for their team, show respect for their opponents, and honor the decisions made by the officials. Please maintain appropriate behavior at all times so that together we can bring honor to our Lord Jesus Christ. Would you please rise for a word of prayer followed by our national anthem. Please pray with us. God, we're grateful for this opportunity. Thank you for the season that you've given both of these teams and schools. We pray that in the spirit of competition tonight, 
that you would uh, be with the efforts of both teams, that no one would be injured on either team. Thank you for the seniors. Thank you for their contributions and hard work to our program. And we pray that seniors from both schools uh, would be honored. And um, just thank you for the joy that they've given us um, by playing this game and, and honoring it the way it should be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The National Anthem tonight will be sung by the BCS Concert Choir under the direction of Mr. Rich Liedeke. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Starting on up in the books here from Blackhawk Christian High School, Mark Davidson Court. We're getting set and ready to roll. We'll give them to you here one more time for the Northrop Bruins. Number one, Keon Bates Jr. Number three, Jaden Schmink. Number four, Dallas Lawrence. Number 21, Hayden Lepley. And number 25, Ed Dalman Alexander. For the Blackhawk Christian Braves, traditionally will roll out with the all senior lineup here on senior night out at Blackhawk Christian High School. They'll roll out with number three, Victor Hoya. Number 13, Josh First. Number 20, Troy Kelly. Number 23, Jimmy Davidson. And number 30, and Gage Septon. Well, it's going to be first, and Alexander to jump it here. Jack Lytle, the official, will head to the middle of the court, and he'll throw this one up. This is Indiana High School basketball. We do play four eight-minute quarters here in the state of Indiana. No shot clock as Alexander going to win the tip here for Northrop, and they'll start it with possession. It's going to be Bates with it at the top of the key. He'll look far side now into the hands there of Alexander. Back up top into the hands of Bates. He'll look to drive it down low, kicks out, top of the key. Three ball on the way is long and over there for Alexander. Goes out of bounds. Possession will go to the Braves. Septon and Davidson are going to move it up the court. Instead, it's going to be Septon to take it here to this near side. He is double teamed. Look down low to Josh first. He'll go up and get the bucket there for Blackhawk Kirshen. 
Now Bates to bring it here for Northrop. First gets the first points of the night here for Blackhawk Christian. Schmink will look far side. They'll set action here with Keon Bates Jr., who does the majority of the ball handling duties here for head coach Rod Chamble and the Northrop Bruins. Lepley in the corner. He'll hit the three ball there for Northrop. So Lepley gets a scoring started there for the Bruins. Gives them a one-point lead. Davidson now with it on that far side. He'll look down low, tried to throw it off the glass to Hoya. Came off of it, and Schmink comes away with it. Quickly ahead up the floor, and he'll draw the foul and head to the free throw line here for Northrop. Foul is going to be called on Gage Sefton. That's going to be his first, the team's first. So Jaden Schmink will head to the free throw line here for Northrop. The senior shooting 70% from the line. Tremendous multi-sport athlete here for the Northrop Bruins. Can't hit there on the first. He'll have a shot at one more with 5.46 remaining. Here in our first quarter of action, it's a one-point lead for the Bruins. The second one for Schmink gets it to run a home. So Sefton going to bring it ahead here for Blackhawk Christian. Look at it off into the hands now. Josh first. First back to Sefton. Sefton was looking to go to Kelly on that far side and said Josh first is there. He'll go up and get the bucket. So Bates now with possession here for Northrop at the top of the key. He'll move it to that far side guarded by Kelly. Look down low to Alexander. He'll put it on the deck, put it up a free throw line jumper. It's up and good. Alexander gets his first points of the night here for Northrop. Sefton, far side now into the hands there of Jimmy Davidson. Davidson looks up the floor. Kelly comes to Hoya here on this near side. Back up top to Davidson. He'll call for a screen from Hoya and work it here to this near side. Swings it all the way across court into the hands of Gage Sefton. Sefton, the look down low to first. First guarded by Alexander. He'll turn, put up a shot, and gets the bucket. It's going to be a battle between those two big men here tonight. Josh first and a Dalman Alexander going to both do tremendous things inside for both of these squads. Bates with it. Look to work around the defender. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by Northrop. So possession will head to Blackhawk Christian with 5.25 remaining here in our first quarter of action. Davidson gets it up the floor to Hoya. Hoya going to dribble down low. And Dalman Alexander set it beautifully. And an offensive foul is going to be called there on Hoya. That's going to be his first, the team's second of the half. Bates going to bring it ahead here once again for the Bruins. He'll look to Schmink with it here on this near side. Schmink kicks far side back to Bates. In the corner, Lepley, another three. Give it to him. Hits his second three ball of the night. Lepley hasn't seen the starting lineup here much for this Northrop Bruins ball club. As Josh First on the other end gets the bucket. He'll head to the line to shoot one here for Blackhawk Christian. Foul's going to be called on Hayden Lepley. That's going to be his first, the team's first of the half. So Josh First going to head to the free throw line here to shoot one for Blackhawk Christian. Comes into this one, a 79% free throw shooter here for the Braves. Hits there on the free throw, ties things up here at nine. And the senior night introduction, Josh First was announced. His plan is to head to Purdue University as a walk-on to play with his younger, or excuse me, his older brother in Caleb First. So we'll see how things roll out here for the First family as they've done tremendous things here out at Blackhawk Christian. But Josh First still has business to take care of in the postseason run here for the Braves. Bates knocked it away on that far side. It came down to Kelly. It's going to be tied up on the deck. We're going to get a jump ball called possession. It's going to stay on the set. Here with the Braves with 4.18 left to go in our first quarter of action. Tremendous ball game here thus far here at Mark Davidson Court. As Davidson going to inbound here for the Braves. Gets it all the way up top. Kelly thought about the three and said put a dribble. 
and gave it inside there. First, looking to go around underneath, couldn't get it to go. Davidson comes away with it. Out to Sefton on that far side. He'll kick out to Kelly. Kelly back to Sefton here on this near side. Wing the triple on the way, couldn't get it to go. And the board comes down into the hands of Jaden Schmink. Schmink ahead. Alexander with it. He'll go up around the defender and get the bucket. So Northrop hanging strong here to begin this one. 3.45 left to go here in our first quarter of action. Davidson up to Kelly. Hoya back to Davidson on that far side. Gives it off to Sefton. Sefton looking for Kelly on that far side. That one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Northrop. So possession will stay on this end with Blackhawk Christian. Number 10, John Jones, a senior, coming into the ball game as well as number 33 in Mason Thompson, Victor Hoya, and Troy Kelly will check out and they will replace them. So Davidson with the floater on the way gets it to go. Senior night here at a Blackhawk Christian High School as all eight seniors have hit the floor here for, or excuse me, seven seniors have hit the floor here now for Blackhawk Christian. As Sefton with it here for the Braves. Looking to get it down low, couldn't get it to go. And Bates comes away with the board here for Northrop. Schmink now with it on that far side. Gets a screen from Alexander, works around it. Blocked there by first. Jones comes away with the board here for Blackhawk Christian. He'll leave it far side into the hands of Sefton. Looking down low for first. Kicks here in the corner. The three ball attempt on the way. Long on it. Jones comes away with the port. Back up top into the hands now. Sefton gives it down low to first. First block there by Alexander. And it's going to fall into the hands of Lepley. He'll look ahead to Bates. Bates with it. Looking to work around Jones. That one was tipped. And we're going to get a foul called there on Jones. And that is going to be the team's fourth. And Jones is first of the half. Number zero, Ahmed Salim going to check into the ball game here for Northrop. He'll replace number one in Keon Bates Jr. It'll be an inbound here from Schmink. 2.23 left to go in our first quarter. Looks to Lepley. Another three could get it to go. And the board comes down here for Blackhawk Christian to Thompson. Gives it off to Sefton. Leaves off first. Down low. He'll work around. Reverse lay ends up and good there for Josh first. 13-11 is now our score. Palam with it here now on this near side wing. Back to Schmink with it on that far side. We're under two minutes left to go. Alexander with it at the top of the key. Nice move there and a dish down low. The bucket is good there for Dallas Lawrence. 13 all is our score. 140 left to go here in our first quarter of action. Sefton up the floor to Davidson. Skips it here to Jones, back to Thompson. The three ball attempt on the way is up and good there for the senior. Crowd going nuts here as Thompson hits the three. Usually doesn't play very often here for Blackhawk Christian, but due to senior night getting his playing time, and he shows it why he could shine here tonight, hitting the three ball and giving the Blackhawk Christian Braves the three-point lead. Timeout going to be called here by head coach Rod Chamble. It's going to be a 30-second one. We'll step away. You're watching Indiana High School basketball here on SummitCitySports.com. Yo, what's going on? It's Antoine Taylor with Matrix QB. I'm so excited to announce our new book, The Quarterback Toolshed, strictly designed to help you slow the game down so that you can speed up. Whether you're a parent, a coach, or a player, it's jam-packed with information. We're gonna help you slow the game down by giving you a mental processor so that you can speed up. This resource has all the things you need from reading the defense, passing mechanics, pre-snap filters, coverage ID, and much, much more. I'm so excited and I can't wait to see you on the inside. Back here live, SummitCitySports.com here from Mark Davidson Court here out at Blackhawk Christian High School as Northrop 
Knights has Chandler Merriweather into the ball game. He'll put a lob up to Alexander. He'll get the bucket. Lawrence and Bates both back in to the ball game here for Northrop as we're under one minute left to go. Davidson with it on that far side here for the Braves. Gets it down low into the hands of Josh first. Leaves it out to Sefton. Sefton with a floater on the way. It's up and good. Sefton hits the floaters. Now a three-point lead here for the Braves with 35 seconds left to go. It's going to be Bates with it. At the top of the key, leaves it off to Alexander. With it here on this near side, guarded by Jones. Lawrence leaves off to Chandler Merriweather. Back to Alexander with it in the corner. He'll work down low. Kicks far side, a three ball attempt from Salam on the way. It's up and good. Five seconds left to go. Sefton's going to move it up the floor. Leaves off to Davidson. Back, looking to go back to Sefton, knocked away. And Salam comes away with it. Ahead to Bates. Five seconds now left to go. Chandler Merriweather hits it off the back end of the iron. First is going to come away with the board. And that is going to be the end of our first quarter. Northrop and Blackhawk Christian tied at 18. You're watching Indian High School basketball here on SummitCitySports.com. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. We're back here live, SummitCitySports.com, here from Blackhawk Christian High School as Isaac Smith and Kellen Pickett going to check on here for the Braves. Their usual starting five now on the floor as it is Smith, Davidson, Sefton, Pickett, and first. Here for Northrop, it's Bates, Salam, Chandler, Merriweather, Alexander, and number four in Dallas Lawrence. Alexander, top of the key, three ball attempt on the way. It's up and good. Pick it ahead to Smith with it in the corner. Leaves off to Davidson. Back to Smith on that far side. The three ball attempt on the way. Could get it to go. Board battle for nicely done there. Gage Sefton puts it home for the Braves. 21-20 now our score. It's Bates with it. He'll bring it across the half-court line guarded by Davidson. Bates gets a screen there from Lawrence. He'll work it down low. Blocked there by Kellen. Pick it out of bounds. Possession will stay on this end here with Northrop. 7.07 left to go. It's going to be Bates to inbound here for the Bruins. He'll throw it all the way up the floor into the hands of Salam. With it at the top of the key. Leaves it off to Chandler Merriweather. Guarded by Sefton. Bates far side to Lawrence. Lawrence. Leaves it off to Alexander on that far side wing. He'll give it back to Bates with it here on this near side. Bates gets a screen. One dribble pull up on the way. Could get it to go. And the board comes down to Davidson. Looking to push it ahead here for Blackhawk Christian. Davidson, Sefton, far side into the hands of Kellen Pickett. The sophomore goes up and kicks here on this near side. Smith from deep. Got it. Isaac Smith hits a three ball there for Blackhawk Christian. Out back now to a two-point lead. Alexander with it now here for Northrop. Leaves it off to Bates. Bates looking to work it down low on Davidson. Kicks out. Chandler Merriweather far side into the hands now here of Lawrence. Lawrence looking to go back to Chandler Merriweather. Knocked away. Sefton had to pick it. The lob the first and threw it a little too heavy there on that one. Pickett not used to throwing lobs as he's used to receiving them here for Blackhawk Christian. But instead, other way around, threw one up. Goes out of bounds. Possession going to head to Northrop. Jaden Schmink 
back into the ball game here for the Bruins, as well as number five, and Donald Larry Reese Jr. As Alexander working it down low on first. He'll put a body into him, goes up and gets the bucket. Tied up at 23. Davidson now with it on that far side to pick it. In the corner now, Isaac Smith. Sefton with it, had it partially knocked away there by Bates, but Blackhawk able to, or excuse me, Northrop able to maintain possession on the deck. Possession comes down here to Northrop. Schmink looking to push it ahead. He'll slow down and reset here for the Bruins. Bates gets a screen from Alexander. Looking to work it down low. Who get around Smith, puts it off glass, and gets the bucket. And Northrop now out to a two-point lead. 5-10 left to go here in our second quarter. Davidson with it on that far side. He'll swing it to Smith. Back up top to Sefton. Gives it off to Kellen Pickett here on this near side wing. He'll dish it down low to first. First, nicely done there. Could get it to go. Second chance opportunity. And that is going to send Josh first to the free throw line. Off the foul there from number four, Dallas Lawrence. That's going to be his first, the team's second of the half. So number 13, Josh first to the free throw line. Comes into this one averaging 19 points per game and nine boards per game. It is the senior 79% free throw shooter. First free throw on the way for first is up and good. Want to give a shout out to his older brother, Caleb first. Tearing it up with the Purdue University Boilermakers. They've got a big one against the Indiana Losers this Saturday evening. First, second free throw on the way. It's up and good. And I'm a Purdue fan there. Gave it the little Indiana Losers as Keon Bates. Now we're going to bring it here for Northrop. 445 left to go in our second quarter. Bates works it down low. Nicely done there off glass. Gets the bucket. Ahead to first. And he'll draw the foul once again here for Blackout Christian and make his way back to the free throw line for the 500th time here tonight. Foul's going to be called on Alexander. That's going to be his first, the team's third of the half. 4.32 left to go here in our second quarter of action. It's first at the free throw line here once again for Blackhawk Christian. First free throw on the way. Hits the back end of the iron. Substitution here for Northrop. Number 21, Hayden Lepley, going to check back into the ballgame. He'll replace number four in Dallas Lawrence. The second one, four first, is on the way. Hits the back end of the iron, missed them both. And possession now comes ahead here to Northrop as Bates was looking to go up the floor to Schmink. But Sefton got his hand into it, knocked it out of bounds. Possession going to go to Northrop with 4.23 left to go. Bates will be picked up by Davidson. The hand off the go back to Schmink. Bates going to move it here to this near side. Looking to work down low on Davidson. Kicks out into the hands there, Reese Jr. Alexander, they'll swing it all the way around the top of the key. Schmink works it down low on the double team. Could get its go. Nice board there by Lepley. Could get its go, and it's going to be possession now here with the Braves. Pick it from deep. Could get its go, and Lepley comes away with the board. Bates now going to push it ahead here for Northrop. 345 left to go. Schmink back to Bates with it. He'll put up a jumper on the way, looking to go off glass. Couldn't get it to go. Knocked out of the hands of Pickett. Bates comes away with it. Schmink now with it on that far side here for Northrop. He'll get a play call from head coach Rod Chamble. Schmink leaves off into the hands here of Alexander. Bates looks here on this near side. Schmink with it at the top of the key, slipped up there. As Alexander, the two dribble pull up, it's up and good. And Northrop now out to a four point lead with three minutes left to go here in our second quarter of action. Davidson now with it here for Blackhawk Christian. Pick it, nice find there. First goes up and gets the bucket. Bates now going to bring it ahead here for Northrop. 
Leaves off to Schmink. They'll go back into the hands now here of Bates with it at the top of the key. Bates going to have it on that far side. Gets it off to Reese Jr. Lefley back to Schmink. Looking down low into the hands here of Alexander. He'll look to go to work on first and said kicks out to Schmink. Guarded by Sefton. Schmink going to dribble down low on Sefton. Looking to go up for it. Travel going to be called there. And possession going to go to Blackhawk. Christian with 219 left to go. Substitution here for Northrop. As Ahmad Salam going to check back in. He'll replace number one and Keon Bates. Aiden Muldoon will come on here for Blackhawk Christian. He'll replace number 23 and Jimmy Davidson. Sefton now going to work it to that far side. Gives it off into the hands of Smith. Back to Sefton. Muldoon with it here on this near side wing. Guarded by Salam. Leaves it off into the hands here at first. They'll swing it. All the way back to Septon, who gets it in the corner. The three ball attempt from Smith on the way. Nice board there. Kellen Pickett goes up and gets the bucket. We're tied up at 29, 150 left to go here in our second quarter of action. Therese Jr. with it. Salam back up top into the hands of Alexander. Nice zero step move blocked there by first. Possession stays with Northrop as Schmink dished it to Alexander. Couldn't get it to go and possession. Going to head to Blackhawk Christian as head coach Rod Chabel wanted a foul call, didn't get it. Sefton will look down low to first. Hands up defense played, but first gets around Alexander and gets the bucket. Northrop now with possession, 115 left to go here in our second quarter of action. Therese Jr. with it at the top of the key. Salam looking to work it down low, and a block is going to be called there on Muldoon. That's going to be... The first foul on Aiden Muldoon, the team's fourth. And we're going to get a substitution here for Northrop as Alexander going to check out for the Bruins. Number four, Dallas Lawrence will come in and replace him. 105 left to go here in our second quarter of action. Schmink going to inbound here for the Bruins. Gets it all the way up top into the hands now here of Reese Jr. Lawrence takes it down low on first. That's partially blocked. Possession ahead now here to Blackhawk Christian. Sefton had it knocked away from behind. Nicely done there by Dallas Lawrence. Salam looks here to Lepley. The three ball attempt on the way. Give it to him. Hayden Lepley absolutely on fire from deep here tonight. Quickly ahead the other way. Josh Burst goes up and gets the bucket. One point lead now for Blackhawk Christian. 30 seconds left to go here in our second quarter. Schmink. Going to go down low. Guarded by Septon. Gets around him and gets the bucket. Muldoon ahead. Pick it. With it here. Guarded by Lepley. Back out to Muldoon. The work down low to first. He'll spin. Gets off glass and gets the bucket. Quickly ahead the other way. Schmink with it. Ten seconds left to go. He'll be guarded by Septon. Reese Jr. to Salam. Three seconds left to go. Got to get a shot off. As he puts one up at the buzzer and hits it. And Salam gives Northrup the one-point lead at halftime. As head coach Rod Chamble having words with the official at center court. They're going to count the bucket. So Northrop with a one-point lead at halftime here over Black Call Christian. You're watching Indian High School Basketball here on SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. 
Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science to the arts all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses the long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952, when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 
70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Yo, what's going on? It's Antoine Taylor with Matrix QB. I'm so excited to announce our new book, The Quarterback Toolshed, strictly designed to help you slow the game down so that you can speed up. Whether you're a parent, a coach, or a player, it's jam-packed with information. We're gonna help you slow the game down by giving you a mental processor so that you can speed up. This resource has all the things you need from reading the defense, passing mechanics, pre-snap filters, coverage ID, and much, much more. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to see you on the inside. How can we help you see today? At a j Optical, we offer frames for the entire family, Nike, MCM, Timberland, Victoria's Secret, Tom Ford, Clear Eye View, Ray-Ban, Guess, and our own a j Optical line. We accept most insurance, Davis Vision, iMed, Anthem, United Health, Medicare, and Medicaid. We are located at 3629 North Clinton Street, right next door to Wooden Nickel. A and J Optical. The back here live, SummitCitySports.com, here from Blackhawk Christian High School on Mark Davidson Court as we're getting set for the second half of action. Here from Blackhawk Christian, our halftime score, Northrop with a 36-35 lead here over Blackhawk Christian. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors. The Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast City and area for generations. Like their Facebook page for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a friendly family environment at the Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive Group is celebrating their 70th year in business. You can shop all of their brands and locations at drivekelly.com. Simple trans, parent reliable. Tom Seal Tires been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other repair services like brakes, realignments, engine diagnostics, and more. At our Molly Contract, you may invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to build. Visit them at artmollycontracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and built the highest volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Heat and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business needs. You can visit them at AndersonCoolie.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expunging your criminal record or helping to get your driver's license reinstated, Charlie Law Firm is your answer. Silco Cleaning and Restoration, providing top notch for personal cleaning services, could be gendered well, water damage, and a state of the art disinfection throughout the Northeast Indian area. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for your convenience and flexibility. You can visit them online at sf.edu. And at Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. Read the region's only specialized athletic web so you learn more by visiting parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Today's broadcast is brought to you by summitcitysports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like, follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yo, what's going on? It's Antoine Taylor with Matrix QB. I'm so excited to announce our new book, The Quarterback Toolshed, strictly designed to help you slow the game down so that you can speed up. Whether you're a parent, a coach, or a player, it's jam-packed with information. We're gonna help you slow the game down by giving you a mental processor so that you can speed up. This resource has all the things you need from reading the defense, passing mechanics, pre-snap filters, coverage ID, and much, much more. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to see you on the inside. We're back here live, SummitCitySports.com, here from Blackhawk Christian High School. Mark Davidson Court getting set to begin our second half of action. Blackhawk Christian get us started here with possession. It'll be Sefton. We'll get a screen from first. He'll put a jumper on the way. could get it to go. And possession now headed the other way with the Bruins. Schmink with it on that far side for Northrop. Bates 
to Alexander, guarded by first. Nice look down low, Lawrence goes up and gets the bucket. So a quick start here for Northrop. They're out to a three point lead. Davidson now with it on that far side. He'll leave off into the hands here of Smith. Smith back with it, gives it down low to first. First double team, the foul is gonna be called here by the near side official. Tomlin Alexander gonna pick up the foul. That's gonna be his second, the team's first of the half. So it's gonna be an inbound here from Davidson. He'll lob to first, blocked there by Alexander. Out of bounds, last touch by the Braves. And possession gonna to head to Northrop with 7.18 left to go. So it's gonna be Bates to bring it ahead here for the Bruins. Lawrence with it on this near side wing guarded by Pickett. He'll leave off to Bates. Back with it at the top of the key here for Northrop. Schmink with it here on this near side. Gives it off to Lepley. Lepley looking to go off glass instead. Gets around first and gets the bucket. Tell you what, Hayden Lepley, my first time seeing him called quite a few Northrop games this year. It's my first time seeing him play. He's doing tremendous things here for Northrop in this ball game as they're out to a five point lead. That one's gonna be knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Blackhawk Christian. So possession gonna head to the Bruins here with 6.36 left to go. It's gonna be Bates now to bring it here for Northrop. He'll get it across the half court line, a five point lead for the Bruins. Schmink with it here on this near side wing. He'll dribble down low, gets around the defender. Travel going to be called on Schmink. And possession going to head to the Braves. So it's going to be Kellen Pickett to inbound here for Blackhawk Christian. He'll go to Sefton with it on that far side wing. 2-3 zone being ran here by the Bruins. Davidson far side into the hands here of Smith. Back to Davidson with it here on this near side wing. Smith to Sefton, gets it off to Pickett. Pickett looking to roll it home, can't get it to go. Board battle for underneath, Pickett comes away with it, goes up and gets the bucket and it'll head to the line to shoot one here for Blackhawk Christian. Foul is gonna be called on Lawrence, that's gonna be his second, the team's second of the half. So Kellen Pickett, just a sophomore here for Blackhawk Christian. Headed to the line to shoot one, a 55% free throw shooter. Tremendous player here for head coach and Matt Roth and the Braves. He'll look to lead the way in years to come after this group of seniors heads off to their college perspectives. Here on at Blackhawk Christian. Bates looking to work it down low. He'll draw the foul and foul is going to be called on Jimmy Davidson. That's going to be the team's first of the half and that is going to be or excuse me, that is gonna send Bates to the line to shoot. That's Davidson's first foul. First free throw for Bates on the way, it's up and a good. Bates comes into this one as a 55% free throw shooter here for Northrop. A senior, tremendous football player as well, played quarterback for head coach Quentin Bowen and the Northrop Bruins squad. That one's gonna be last touch by, or excuse me, by Blackhawk Christian as it rolled off the leg of Kellen Pickett, so possession gonna go to Northrop with 5.45 left to go. Here in our third quarter of action. It'll be an inbound from Schmink. He'll get it into the hands now here of Bates. Bates gonna direct traffic here for Northrop. Leaves out to Alexander. Alexander looking to take first down low. That's knocked out of the hands there of Davidson. Falls last touch off of Alexander and possession gonna head to the Braves. Excuse me, Davidson. Gonna have it now here on this near side for Blackhawk Christian. He'll go back to Smith, the look down low to pick it. And we're gonna get a block called on Dolman Alexander. He'll pick up the foul with 5.20 left to go. So that is gonna be his third foul, the team's third of the half. Looked like Alexander was set, but the call by the official says the other way. So Kellen Pickett, the sophomore to the line to shoot 
here for Blackhawk Christian. First one on the way, it's up and good. Alexander will check off with those three fouls. He'll be replaced by number 33 in Jackson Hughes, the sophomore here for head coach Ron Chamble and the Northrop Bruins. Pickett, second free throw on the way, it's up and good. It is now a one point lead here for Northrop as they'll have possession. Bates gonna bring it here for the Bruins. Lawrence looking to drive down low. Kicks out to Bates with it here on this near side wing. Bates to Lawrence. Far side to Lepley. He'll leave it off into the hands here of Bates. Bates works around. Davidson looking to throw it off glass. Could get it to spin home. And possession now headed to Blackhawk Christian. Sefton with it. Look at the Smith down low, threw it right into the hands of Lawrence. Lawrence quickly ahead, up the floor, and possession now going to head the other way with Blackhawk Christian. First, works around Hughes, puts it up off glass, couldn't get it to go. Second chance opportunity from Sefton, no good, and possession now headed to Northrop. Bates works around Davidson, puts it up, couldn't get it to spin home, and gets the foul call, but Bates going to head to the line to shoot here for Northrop. Foul is going to be called on Davidson. That'll be his second, the team's second of the half. So Keon Bates back to the free throw line to shoot here for Northrop. First one from Bates is up and good. Two-point lead now here for the Bruins. 4.28 left to go here in our third quarter of action. Second free throw for Bates off the back end of the iron. Sefton comes away with the board. Davidson now with it here for Blackhawk Christian. He'll work it in the corner. Smith looking to go far side. It fell off the hands of Pickett. Was intended for Sefton. He'll have it here now for Blackhawk Christian. Smith, Pickett, back to Smith from deep. Got it. Isaac Smith hits the three and gives Blackhawk Christian the one point lead with four minutes left to go. It's Bates. Gets it off into the hands now here of Jaden Schmink. Back to Bates with it in the corner. Gets it up top to Lawrence. Lawrence thought about the free throw line jumper and said left off to Bates. Bates looking to take it down low, slipped up on the floor, but possession able to be maintained here for Northrop. Schmink guarded by Sefton. He'll work it to that far side here for Northrop. Schmink looking to work down low on Sefton, goes up, can't get it to go, and possession now headed to Blackhawk Christian. Davidson, the floater on the way, gets the bucket. And inbound there, Blackhawk Christian comes away with it. Second, or excuse me, Davidson puts it home, and we're going to get a full timeout called by Northrop. So we'll step away. You're watching Indiana High School Basketball here on SubbaCitySports.com. I'm Matt Wolfer, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. Back here live, SummitCitySports.com here from Blackhawk Christian High School as the crowd now fired up as Blackhawk Christian went on a little run there. They're now out to a five-point lead here over Northrop with 3.15 left to go here in our third quarter of action. Both teams with four timeouts remaining out of the timeout called by head coach Rod Chamble and the Northrop Bruins. They'll have possession here now. Ahmed Salam going to bring it. Just checked into the ball game here for Northrop. Gets a screen from Lawrence on that far side. Salam with it at the top of the key. Leaves it off into the hands now here of Jaden Schmink. Schmink looking to work around. Leaves off. Lepley from deep. Couldn't get it to go. Board comes down to Sefton. Sefton now going to push it. Smith 
He'll look down low to first. Kicks out to pick it here on this near side. He'll go up and get the bucket. Seven point lead now here for Blackhawk Christian. Salam gonna have it here for Northrop. Leaves off into the hands of Jaden Schmink. He'll go down low off glass hand, get the bucket. 2.25 left to go here in our third quarter of action. It's a five point lead for Northrop, or excuse me, for Blackhawk Christian. Sefton with it now on that far side here for the Braves. He'll work it. Kicks out to pick it from deep. Got it. Kellen Pickett hits the three ball there for Blackhawk Christian and now makes it an eight point lead here for the Braves under two minutes left to go. Salam with it. Leaves it off to the hands of Hughes. Schmink to Lawrence with it at the top of the key guarded by Pickett. He'll leave off to Salam. The one dribble pull up off the front end of the iron. Salam comes away with the board. Sefton with it here now. He'll spit Davidson. And it's going to be saved by Davidson right into the Blackhawk Christian student section. So possession going to stay on the set here with Northrop. 138 left to go in our third quarter of action. Substitution going to be made here for the Bruins. Number five, Don LaRay Reese Jr. going to check into the ball game. He'll replace number three in Jaden Schmink. Salam going to inbound here for the Bruins. Three starters now out. Here for Northrop as Schmink, Bates, and Alexander, all three on the bench here for the Bruins. Davidson with it here on this near side wing. He'll leave off to pick it. Back to Davidson. Splits the defenders, and a foul is going to be called. Eight point lead for Blackhawk Christian. Foul is going to be called on Salam. That's going to be his first, the team's fourth of the half. It'll be an inbound here from Davidson. Davidson, far side, Smith from deep, got it. Isaac Smith hits the three ball there for Blackhawk Christian. They're out now to 11 point lead. Salam with it on that far side here for Black, or excuse me, for Northrop. Lawrence with it, far side now into the hands here of Salam. Salam to uh, Lepley from deep, couldn't get it to go. Sefton comes away with the board. 50 seconds now left to go. Pick it in the corner. Smith, another three. Could get it to go. Board battled for. Comes down and pick it. Looking to work it down low. He'll draw the foul and head to the free throw line here for Blackhawk Christian. Foul is going to be called on number four. Dallas Lawrence. That's going to be his third. The team's fifth of the half. 44 and a half seconds left to go. Substitution going to be made here for Northrop. After the first free throw as Pickett hits the first. Number 31, Mason Widmer, comes into the ball game. He'll replace number four in Dallas Lawrence as he checks out with three fouls. 44 and a half seconds left to go. Pickett, the second free throw on the way. Got it. 13 point lead now here for the Braves. Inbound here for Northrop. As Reese Jr. going to bring it across the half court line. Gets a screen from Widmer. Doesn't use it. Blocked there by Sefton. Pickett. Leaves it off to Davidson with it on that far side. He'll take it down low. Kicks out to pick it. The three ball attempt on the way. Couldn't get it to go. Board battled for. And it's going to be last touch as first and Davidson both got a piece of it. So that one's going to go out of bounds. Possession to Northrop with 25 seconds left to go. It's going to be Salam to bring it across the half court line. He'll take it to that far side. 15 seconds now left to go here in our third quarter of action. Salam leaves off into the hands here. Reese Jr. Widmer with it back to Reese Jr. The three ball attempt on the way. Couldn't get it to go. Davidson comes down and he was called out of bounds here on this near side. So it'll be an inbound with one second left to go in our third quarter of action. As they're looking to get it in, Lepley just threw it out of bounds there to Salam. So it'll be an inbound for Blackhawk Christian with one second left to go.
They'll get it in up the floor to pick it. The turnaround three ball attempt on the way could get it to go. And that is going to be the end of our third quarter. Blackhawk Christian out to a 57-44 lead. You're watching Indiana High School basketball here on SummitCitySports.com. Sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. We're back here live, SummitCitySports.com. Here from Blackhawk Christian High School, Mark Davidson Court. It is now a 13-point lead here for Blackhawk Christian as they're ahead on Northrop. As it was looking to be scary, Northrop led at the end of two quarters by one. So now Northrop brings in Schmink, Alexander, and Bates all playing in foul trouble here for the Bruins. So we'll see how things play out. Eight minutes on the board. Bates Jr. going to start it here for Northrop. As I mentioned, both of these squads going to head to their prospective sectionals next week as this is the last regular season game here for both of these squads. Blackhawk Christian going to head to the South Adams sectional. They'll play on Wednesday evening at 7.30 p.m. Me and my cameraman Matt Jackson will be live out at South Adams for that sectional. And then Northrop will have the bye at the Carroll sectional as they'll play the winner of East Noble and DeKalb at 6 p.m. on a Friday evening in the semifinal out at Carroll High School. So Davidson looking to inbound here for Blackhawk Christian. Gets it all the way in the backcourt into the hands now here of Gage Sefton, who will bring it across the half-court line. Sefton with it on that far side. Gets a screen from first. He'll work it down low, knocked out of the hands by Bates. Pickett goes up, blocked there by Alexander. And a foul is going to be called on this near side. Foul is going to fall on Jimmy Davidson. That's going to be his third, the team's third of the half. So Pete Jr. going to inbound here for Northrop. As I mentioned, Northrop led at the halftime break. But Blackhawk Christian stormed in the third quarter as they took a three-point lead at the end of three. Alexander, nice move there, goes up and gets the bucket. Tremendous stuff there by the senior. As I mentioned, spoke with him before tonight's game. He's getting a lot of looks between Division I and NAIA schools as first gets around him and gets the bucket. So possession now going to be headed Northrop's way. Bates going to bring it up the floor here for the Bruins. With it at the top of the key. Leaves off into the hands here of Lawrence. Knocked away. First slams it home there for the Braves. Josh first giving a black call Christian. Faithful something to cheer about as they're ahead of 61-46 with six minutes left to go. And it's blocked. Ahead, Pickett leaves off. Sefton goes up and puts it up and gets the bucket. Tremendous stuff there by the senior. Gage Sefton with the hoop and harm for Blackhawk Christian. Sefton going to head to the line to shoot one. Foul is going to be called on Lawrence. That's going to be his fourth, the team sixth of the half. So Lawrence going to check off here for Northrop. He'll be replaced by number five in Reese Jr. And Gabe Sefton, the Grace College commit, going to head to the line to shoot one here for the Braves. Sefton, free throw on the way. It's up and good. Now makes it an 18-point lead here for Blackhawk Christian with six minutes left to go. Alexander, the jumper 
on the way. We're going to get a timeout before that. Called by head coach Rod Chamble in the Northrop Bruins here watching it in high school basketball here on SummitCitySports.com. Yo, what's going on? It's Antoine Taylor with Matrix QB. I'm so excited to announce our new book, The Quarterback Toolshed, strictly designed to help you slow the game down so that you can speed up. Whether you're a parent, a coach, or a player, it's jam-packed with information. We're going to help you slow the game down by giving you a mental processor so that you can speed up. This resource has all the things you need from reading the defense, passing mechanics, pre-snap filters, coverage ID, and much, much more. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to see you on the inside. Back here live, SummitCitySports.com here from Mark Davidson Court here out at Blackhawk Christian High School as possession now with the Bruins knocked out of bounds. So possession now going to head Northrop, or excuse me, Blackhawks way. Out of the out of bounds call there on Northrop. And we're going to get out of bounds called. Possession will stay on this end here with the Braves. Inbound from Davidson, 554 left to go. Here in our fourth quarter of action. It's Sefton with it. Gets around. Schmink goes up. Couldn't get it to go. But he'll head to the line to shoot free throws here for Blackhawk Kirsten. Foul's going to be called on Jaden Schmink. That is going to be his first, the team's seventh. So that is going to put Blackhawk Kirsten in the bonus. And Gage Sefton going to head to the line to shoot here for Blackhawk Kirsten. First free throw from Sefton. It's up and good. Substitution going to be made. Here for Northrop as number four. And Dallas Lawrence going to replace number one, Keon Page Jr. Second free throw for Sefton. It's up and good. 20 point lead now here for Blackhawk Christian. 5.45 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Lawrence leaves off to Reese Jr. with it on that far side for Northrop. Leaves it off to Schmink. Schmink gets a screen from Alexander. Lepley, the three ball attempt in the corner. Couldn't get it to go. And first comes away with the board. Davidson with it here for Blackhawk Christian. He'll have it from behind the free throw line. Looking to leave off to Sefton. Falls into the hands of him. Davidson, the look down low to first. Guarded by Alexander. First goes up, gets around. Alexander gets the bucket. He'll head to the line to shoot one here for Blackhawk Christian. Foul is going to be called on Reese Jr. That's going to be his first, the team's eighth of the half. 5-10 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. First free throw attempt on the way. Couldn't get it to go, and the board comes down into the hands of Lawrence. Schmink going to bring it across the half-court line. He'll have it here with it. Goes up and gets the bucket. 20-point lead now here for Blackhawk Christian. First, with it down low, guarded by Alexander. Puts it up, couldn't get it to go. Pick it, tried to flush it home there. Couldn't get full hand of it. And possession now heads to Northrop. And Schmink going to draw the foul. Foul is going to be called on Gage Sefton. As that is going to be the team's fourth. And Sefton second. And you're getting a little sarcastic clap from the Northrop section here on this near side as they're not liking the foul count as it is eight to four. But hey, that's what happens in the game of basketball as Northrop now with possession here on this near side of wing. The turnaround jumper on the way, couldn't get it to go, and Pickett comes away with the board. Davidson with it here on this near side wing, 425 left to go. Davidson looking down low for first, guarded by Alexander. He'll draw the offensive foul on Josh first, and that'll be the team's fifth. And first is first. It'll be an inbound here for Northrop. 
Reese Jr. now going to bring it ahead here for the Bruins. With it at the top of the key, leaves off to Schmink. Schmink working it down low, blocked there by Sefton. Out of bounds, possession going to stay on this end here with Northrup. It'll be an inbound from Jaden Schmink. Schmink gets it in, into the hands here of Reese Jr. Reese Jr. in the corner to Lawrence. The three ball attempt on the way, long on it. And Sefton comes away with the port. Looking ahead for Pickett. He was tripped up on that far side. So a foul is going to be called. It's going to be called on number four in Dallas Lawrence. That'll be the team's ninth. And Lawrence is fifth. So he'll have to check out of the ball game as he fouls out. Jackson Hughes going to come on to replace Lawrence. As he fouls out, it'll be a one and one here for Kellen Pickett. Number 10 and Kobe Hudson on as well here for Northrop. As couldn't hit the first of the one and one could pick it. And possession now ahead with Northrop. Nice move there, but couldn't get it to go. Pickett comes away with it. He'll push it ahead. Splits the defenders looking to go off glass. Couldn't get it to go. Board battled for here on this near side. And Kobe Hudson comes away with it. 340 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Alexander, the three ball attempt on the way. It's up and good. 51-68 is our score. Blackhawk, Christian now with possession. As Sefton to pick it here on this near side. He'll put up a reverse lay in and gets the bucket. 310 now left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Smith with it. He'll put it up and flush it home there for the Braves. Isaac Smith showing the versatility, flushing it home there for Blackhawk Christian. Tremendous stuff there by number 11 and Isaac Smith, the 6-5 junior here for Blackhawk Christian. Troy Kelly going to replace Smith. Hughes going to check off as well as the Blackhawk Christian faithful on their feet. They're liking what Isaac Smith there took down the rim for Blackhawk Christian. 2.45 left to go. Sefton leaves off and it's to the hands of first to turn around on the way. It's up and good. 74-51 now our score. Northrop led at our halftime break, but Blackhawk Christian has turned on the Jets here in the second half as Alexander with the turnaround jumper gets the bucket. Now Sefton with it on that far side. Leaves it down low to first, guarded by Alexander. On this near side, three ball attempt from Kelly. Could get it to go. Sefton knocks it out, but into the hands here of Reese Jr. He'll go coast to coast with it and get the bucket. Two minutes now left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. It's going to be Davidson with it here on this near side, guarded by Reese Jr. Davidson leaves off into the hands here of first. First, guarded by Alexander. He'll put it up and get the bucket. And we're going to get a timeout for substitutions here for Blackhawk Christian as number three in the senior, Victor Hoya, number 10, John Jones, and number 33 in Mason Thompson, all on here for Blackhawk Christian as Davidson and first as well as Gabe Sefton, all going to check off here for Blackhawk Christian on their last time here out at Mark Davidson Court, Blackhawk Christian High School with 1.43 left to go. The last home game for all of these seniors. As I mentioned, no play in the South Adams sectional next week as the bucket is good there by Dallas Reeves Jr. 76-57, our score, 1.36 left to go here in our fourth quarter. John Jones going to pick up the foul. Reese Jr. going to head to the line to shoot here for Northrop. As I mentioned, Blackhawk Christian will play in the South Adams sectional. I'll be live on the call for that if you can catch it on IHSAATV.org. 
They'll play Wednesday against the host squad, South Adams at 7.30 p.m. Jones, or excuse me, that was number 20. And Troy Kelly looking for the three, couldn't get it to go. Alexander gonna check out here for Northrop. 76-57, our score, 115 remaining. The jumper on the way, couldn't get it to go. There couldn't, Reese Jr. And possession now ahead here for Blackhawk Christian. Kelly with it. Nice move there, gets the bucket. Troy Kelly puts it off glass and gets the bucket. And we're going to get a timeout here for Blackhawk Christian as Brendan Miller going to come on here for Blackhawk Christian. He'll replace Troy Kelly as he'll check out for his last time here out at Mark Davidson Court. So only seniors left on the floor are number 33, Mason Thompson and Victor Hoya, as well as John Jones here for Blackhawk Christian. The move around the defender, nicely done there. The bucket is good for Reese Jr. 76-59 on our score. Excuse me, 78-59. 40 seconds left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. It's going to be Miller. Leaves off to Hoya. Hoya going to work it down low, blocked out of bounds. Possession going to head to Northrop with 32 seconds left to go. So it's going to be Salam with it, 30 seconds left. He'll look to work it down low, and that one's going to go off glass. Couldn't get its go. Board comes down, and Blackhawk Christian will have possession. It's going to be Thompson with it. Skicks far side to Jones. Jones. Works around, goes off glass, looking for the reverse lane, could get its go. Hoya, second chance opportunity, no good. Board battled for underneath. Hudson comes away with it here for Northrop. Ahead, and the finger roll lay-in is up and good there for Reese Jr. 78-61, our score, and that is going to be our final. So the Blackhawk Christian Braves defeat the Northrop Bruins 78-61. Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game, Josh First for Blackhawk Christian. Well, we're going to go ahead and sign off. As I mentioned, make sure you join us next week for sectional coverage. All the games will be live on IHSATV.org. As I mentioned, me and Matt will be live out at the South Adams sectional for the Blackhawk Christian Braves. And then we'll have somebody live as well for the Carroll sectional that will feature the Northrop Bruins. But until then, for my cameraman, Matt Jackson, this is Hunter Sosenheimer. You've been watching Indiana High School Basketball here live on SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our cameras. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So. Uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size being six three six four to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, 
and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November. In addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. In four years, this, this could be you. you! At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed. From business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952, when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Yo, what's going on? It's Antoine Taylor with Matrix QB. I'm so excited to announce our new book, The Quarterback Toolshed, strictly designed to help you slow the game down so that you can speed up. Whether you're a parent, a coach, or a player, it's jam-packed with information. We're going to help you slow the game down by giving you a mental processor so that you can speed up. This resource has all the things you need from reading the defense, passing mechanics, pre-snap filters, coverage ID, and much, much more. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to see you on the inside.
can we help you see today? At ANJ Optical, we offer frames for the entire family, Nike, MCM, Timberland, Victoria's Secret, Tom Ford, Clear Eye View, Ray-Ban, Guess, and our own ANJ Optical line. We accept most insurance, Davis Vision, iMed, Anthem, United Health, Medicare, and Medicaid. We are located at 3629 North Clinton Street, right next door to Wooden Nickel. A&J Optical, 